Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning. Mm. Grateful for your love, your grace, and your mercy. Mm. We thank you, Father, for the guidance and the courage that mm. you instill in us. Mm. Just pray, Father, that you would bless this time together. <clears throat> that we would hear your word and see the light. I pray these things in your son's name. Amen. 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 Anybody else? Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. No, that's okay. Yeah, I just pray. So. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord, we, we come to you with grateful hearts. Lord, we are so thankful for your ways. We're so thankful for your wisdom, your discipline, your great love for us. Lord, we are humbled by it. Lord, we desire more of your wisdom. We desire more of your a power in our lives. We thank you for your dealings, your, your great and mighty ways, your mysterious ways. Lord, we thank you for the blueprint that you are continuing to unveil in greater measure. Lord, bless your servants. Bless your, your people that you have given a voice to speak your truth, your wisdom. Lord, continue to build them up and continue to do a work in the lives of those who have ears willing to hear. Lord, may we be that people that would hear your voice and that would obey with great joy. Lord, we, we come to this time with joy excitement, gladness, Lord, for the work you're doing. Lord, we ask that you would bless this time, that you would meet us here, and that you continue to work in our hearts. Bless all those who call for your name, who have been called by you. Bless your holy name. Amen. Father, we bless your holy name. And you are holy, Lord. You are the creator, the life giver, and the sustainer of life. You are also full of love, mercy, righteousness, and justice, truth. Lord, you are wise, you are sovereign. And all that you do, and all that you think, and all that you say, is not without cause, not without purpose, not without the expression of your heart. Because you are pure. There is no shadow in you. There is no ulterior motive outside of the fullness of your character and nature. So that all that you do and all that you have ordained is pure, the pure flow of life and light. Lord, this is the light and the life that we seek. Lord, that it may shine upon us and fill us. 
Well, Lord, we are vessels in many ways unclean and in need of a reformation according to your pattern so that we are able to fully receive what you give. Lord, you spoke everything into existence by the power of your word. And you also speak your word to our lives. Lord, in this light, I lift up Emmanuel. Lord, whom you have called out and set apart as one who is to take the kernels of truth. Lord, and, and grind them and knead them, adding the water the ingredients, Lord, that they they might be tested and proved first and then broken and dispensed as life-giving bread. So, Lord, I pray that we would have our hearts and our minds to receive the bread of heaven. Lord, also ourselves, our own lives as living expressions of your word, be willing to become the kernel, to be crushed, to be made into something palatable and beneficial to those whom you send us. <clears throat> Jesus, you said, you are the bread mm -hmm. that comes from heaven. Yes. Lord, we don't want to igno ignorantly or foolishly speak as many did in the day of Christ, mm -hmm. saying, give us this bread when they knew not what they asked for, nor whom it was to come from. Lord, show us how to not be a people who honor you with our lips, but whose hearts are far from you. Lord, rather, May we each have an intimate relationship with you, yes. heart to heart, spirit to spirit. And then as we grow and mature, soul to soul, mind to mind, so that this body in this life, in this world, will have to fully yield to that purpose. But Lord, how can we know if we haven't heard? Yes. How can we hear if no one has sent? Mm -hmm. But you have sent your servant. Yes. So we bless Emmanuel soon. Mm -hmm. I bless him. Mm -hmm. Lord, I pray for the empowerment of the word. Yes. As well as for a hearing ear. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, Lord God, we do worship you in your presence, Lord. We do honor your presence, God. Thank you for your heart of willingness to meet us, Lord, to love us, Lord Jesus, for making that way. Thank you, Lord, for your nearness. Just a blessing. Of being in your presence. God, just being in your presence truly changes us. 
crooked things become straight, Lord. Love covers. Father, we find clarity and peace. You are a blessing beyond description to our lives, Lord. Indeed, show us your faith, God. Mm -hmm. We hunger for more of you, Lord. Mm. In every way, through and through, God. Mm -hmm. We come again together, Lord, before you. To offer ourselves and, and to invite, God, your work mm. in us and through us. Hola. Hola. You are a good father. Yes, yes. Yeah. We love yes. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Lord. Amen. Amen. Now we have a lot of cover concerning, I'm going to continue with the topic on the Word of God. Last time we more talking about introductory uh, in, in a tune uh, we talk about the comparison from the di, 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 called the dilution the corruption of the teaching of the word of God the, just like the pharisaic teachings in Jesus day that changed the word of God into something else am I right we have a living comes in interesting team pray for bread stuff like that that's He's actually talking the word of ministry, the word of God. Mm. So, uh, let me start with there. So, I love the cover, but uh, first let me do a review of the contest. Uh, we have a s s few serious teaching in my, um, you know, in my time has been going on. But uh, you look at it, um, interesting enough, you know, my teaching the other Mills' deck more about the governmental ways of God that is, you know, the, his, his kingdom, how he operates, he minister his law, he's, he want to build or have his own people through that. But when the people has been given, hallelujah, hallelujah, well, God will to build them up mm -hmm. as one people. Mm -hmm. So how he does that, he begin to personally deal with each black person. And then, on one part, the two things come together. One part is a ministry of the church, and the foundational teaching many ways about. Now, with, definitely without the Spirit, nothing can happen. So, but God won't using the church as his, uh, his ministry, you know, his priesthood. It's a ministry, it's a message is for the teacher his word. Mm -hmm. So he gives the help of the Holy Spirit. To testify and uh, and uh, and verify the truth, am I right? Establish the truth in our lives. This has been Jesus' ministry from the beginning. He is a living Word of God, but his teaching also is a ministry of the Word of God. They're one of the same. Then, his his teaching in the person, in the language, in the traditions that it, mm -hmm. he was in historically, in he in daily in actions. But he never isolated that from the work of the Holy Spirit. You see, oftentimes what we do is uh, we separate many things together. Mm -hmm. So the vessel, the minister of the Word of God, the Word of God itself, mm -hmm. amen. And then the power, which is the Spirit of the Word of God. Mm -hmm. See, all agree together, three in one, just like the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in heaven, they are three in one. On earth, it's the same thing, they're three in one. Amen, hallelujah, the ministry. Now then in the person, there will be three in one as well. <laughs> Your body, soul, spirit for sure, am I right? So, amen, hallelujah, there will be three in one. So we see this threefold, but listen, the teaching discipleship is more about ministry of the Word of God. You want to sanctify all the people, Paul said it. The word of God will sanctify the bride, and right? So sanctify the bride. And the Holy Spirit is the actually the business of worship. He changed the heart. <laughs> he work on the person inside. Um, but there is 
a framework, right? A from a blueprint, if you care to see it. Mm -hmm. So now, then the spirit works also interesting. Um, he bring things from the throne of God, the provision from Christ Jesus. He's a store horse. He ministers to us. Mm -hmm. Now he secured that in a legal way. I mean, let me mm -hmm. let me see in a covenantal way, mm -hmm. in a in a in a judicial way. Amen. Hallelujah. Therefore, Paul would say that every promise in God through Christ is what? Yes and amen. Yes and amen. That's a covenantal term. Okay? Yes and amen. Yes, he said, you acknowledge it's true. The amen is when you receive the truth, it mm -hmm. becomes real to you. You, be, you taste the blessing of it. Mm -hmm. Yes, you agree to it. Yes, Lord. We don't want to be a slave anymore. We want the promised land given to our forefathers. <laughs> right? so, mm -hmm. But how you get there? Yeah. So we eat the bread, taste the first fruits, drink the wine, say, Hey, man, bless the Lord. He is true to his promise, true to his covenant. Amen. You become a, a fulfilled promised people. Amen. Right? And mm -hmm. promise fulfilled people. Am I making sense to you? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yes, in this fellowship is a feast, the covenant of order, the ceremony. Yes and amen. Hallelujah. Very rarely I see to you. <laughs> yes and amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. His word is yes. His word is yes. Not no anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. And in this inscribed name, what do you have? You're sealed with a new name. Mm -hmm. What a name? You're son of God. You're, you're a member of his household. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. You're sealed with approval. Of your heavenly father as a spiritual son. Now, all those are mysteries, but I just simply pointed out it should excite you to see how this work it out. It's real, am I right? It's all legal, legally, logically, and in heaven as ministry given to us as a church to minister. Amen. Hallelujah. What a kind of church will be without the work of the Holy Spirit? <laughs> so, amen. So they have to be one. And that being said, so foundational teaching more about discipleship, the we hold discipleship arranged. Apostle teaching is more about laying foundation. So what do you mean? Often think organize church, give party gifts, have visions, the future, what are God going to do? That's not a possibly the first priority process ministry. Possibly ministry is to build the house of God on the solid foundation. Amen? Mm -hmm. In each believer's life. Amen? Mm -hmm. Through solid teachings. Amen? So what kind of teaching are we talking about? That's exactly the teaching we're talking about. And it's main theme in the New Testament teaching. I'll prove that. The mm -hmm. ministry of the wisdom of God or the food of God, the bread of heaven, the word of God. That's the topic today. We'll continue to talk about the, the ministry of the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that being said, but the Spirit also going to open up you to enter each conventional relationships. Judicially, you will enter the seven feast. Am I right? Amen? Seven covenants, basically. You will enjoy the benefits of blessing thereof. Because each feast, when it fulfilled, it's unlocked a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. So the same for the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Eventually, where you set in, you celebrate in the on the throne of God. Am right? So speaking about the lordship. Amen. Light and bread. It's wisdom. Am I? Mm -hmm. Am I making sense to you? All of this. See, when look, for example, just a simple snippets of the thoughts. I would uh, encourage you to listen to seven spirit teachings. Mm -hmm. It's a lengthy, it's a little bit relaxed discussion, but I will tell you that I'm teaching the ages long to hear it. I have a visitation, I'm telling you. Um, I hope people don't ridicule us <laughs> because I share these things. I have the visitation. Uh, one day I was sitting in the classroom, I was one of the students, and each person took a turn to teach. I think it's seven people maybe. Mm -hmm. to, or eight, who knows. Um, but there was Noah there. There was Abraham there. I'm not sure. Others I remember. I don't even remember that too. <laughs> 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 they, were, they were like young kids, you know, like I was. I was a young man, you know, so it's a little bit older maybe. Uh, they were sitting in their seat and each person take a turn to 
teach a course, you know, with each person finish the say like you didn't go to school, you know, so <laughs> exactly the high school kind of setting. And uh, so finally, I was waiting actually for the next lesson to open up, you know, it was so good. And uh, they come around, they, they begin to hover my, my table is by the door, they end of the door, so they hey, what are you going to teach today? I said, are you kidding me? I'm here ready <laughs> for somebody to teach me some stuff. What do you mean? You know, what do you want me? What do you mean? How are you supposed to teach us the seven spirit of God? The, the God told us we're going to, to have you teach that. And I said, what? I don't even know what seven spirit of God is. I have heard of certain topics, you know, people talk about it. Uh, but I've never been taught by God straightforward, was it? Hmm. So I began to bring that dream to the Lord, the Lord, and um, what do you want me to do? Now, interesting enough, for sure, I had to ask, what do we teach? We just set up for, to meet together. She said, would you like the character to talk about the seven spirit of God? And, and, hmm. Amen. So, now, when I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, I don't know what to talk. He said, well, you open your mouth, and I will give to you. So, it has been that for a while, so, so I don't apologize for my disorganized way teaching them teaching, so <laughs> it is my wish and so we share that is the Lord every time bring new things. Now that being said, so you can see that is on the part of spiritual man, amen, being taught by the seven spirit, the seven streams of blessing, secure a person. But in the context of culture, am I as a people of God? So in foundational teaching, we'll more talk about how to do the ministry of the word God as a main topic because the apostolic teaching or the teaching of the house of the Lord is about the ministry of the word of God. And well, that being said, and it's the effect is that through the power of the Spirit sanctify, renew a person. Am I right? So mm -hmm. amen. So there are numerous Imageries or analogies used in the Bible speaking about this impartation of a we of God. One is sometimes wisdom, heaven, but dew or rain from above, am I right? So nurtures the land or the seed plant in the land. Sick produce good fruits, am I right? So good harvest. Second is like a milk or solid food for a young life to grow up, am I right? So, the maturity, am I? So, seed, all the seed, am I right? One is planetary life, the other is organic, even human life, in that regard. There are also, there is others speaking about, you're not clean, so this word of God is meant to cleanse you, to set you apart. Wash away like a lamb, being cleansed, that's ordinance in the sacrifice, sacrificial process. Cleans you, set you apart, inside out, open up, sword of God, <laughs> time that dissect you, offer the best part in God, the sword of God. Mm -hmm. So it's a fire and a sword. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. So you're more than a sword to to set you apart. Mm. To, to 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 open you up. Mm but also a fire to consume you. So, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah. Then you are to receive the benefit of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So in the whole process, from the baptism of water, mm -hmm. baptism of fire, and then what? Hallelujah, baptism of the Holy Spirit in the midst of it. So others are multiple other things. Amen, why well, you don't need me to to emphasize, but in terms of partaking food, uh, the spiritual food, amen, hallelujah, or the washing, we can instantly relate, correlate to some main things in the New Testament teachings. For example, Jesus speaking about packing food, he said, is this my cup? This is my bread, is this the bread is my body? He's partaking his life. So it's not a ritualistic, mm -hmm. it's really partaking the living word of God. So the second is washing, cleansing, it's doing sacrifice, am I right? Paul said, you are made a living sacrifice of <coughs> God, and God is going to renew your mind. Amen. Let's read that. Romans 1, Romans 12, 1, 2, 3, King, read it. 
Oh, this is your spiritual act worship. I mean, this is a, it's, it's, it's a heaven, amen? The worship is not on earth, heavenly. It's coming from heaven. Amen? Hallelujah. Let's refer to this. Two scriptures, actually. <coughs> Romans 12, first. One, two, three. Go ahead. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world. Let's see. Spiritual act. What Jesus used the word act to speak about? It's a wisdom is approved by what? Her actions, her fruits, basically. This is your spiritual fruit, something you express, something flow out because something is changing you. Mm. So this is how you be grow and camp yourself in your body and so that your life being transformed. Mm. Then, right? So, mm. like often, he's not in the house. Now he is in the family. Mm. He's a part in the food. He is familiar himself with the new culture of the household, name, right? the family. What happened? Everything he does is a family culture, family business. So no more he is outside this. So worship here has to do with we become a true, genuine member of God's household. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the city of his kingdom because God is more than imparting uh, family love, the Zen setting, family order. He also He's a ro regal one. He's a royal one. He's he's a king of kings. Mm. So he treated you like he's a princess. Israel, there's a reason for Israel to be Israel, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. He's a prince. So God raised him up to be a prince. Nobody can say you can't do that. That's why God, for the purpose, the, this, this holy purpose, this encouragement to us, as a son of God, he reads out David, am right? From mm -hmm. the sheep pen, he said, Okay, I will, I will make you wise and godly king, am right? So, amen. Hallelujah. Go on. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Mm. Oh, that's okay from there. Now, you can see the renewal of mind and God's will is not on personal terms in this light. Mm. It's oriented from God, it's centered on God, it's decreed, uh, not decreed, ensued by God, it's it's accomplished by God, right? So, making sense to you? But oftentimes, what do we do? The renewal of mind is how I think positively. Hmm. We don't think it's renewed into a mind of a son, a mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. That's not our wish, right? Hmm. I have bad thoughts, sinful thoughts, unworthy thoughts. Now I need to change that. Hmm. And God is going to let me not drink, let me not eat, <laughs> let, me, sorry, let, let me not uh, foolish, right? Let me not curse, let me stuff that, right? So, that's not true. He said, I give you a new mind, mm -hmm. as I give to my son. Amen? Hallelujah. New mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second, Romans the work, work talk about the spirit of sonship, right? So we know that, right? So, and then the second, he said, test and prove what God's will is. One thing we think, okay, what are you going to do tomorrow? What I should do with uh, this job? What I should do with the uh, location where I live, where I eat? <laughs> How to have a girlfriend? How to have a family? Hmm. How to educate my child? For sure, those things are very important to life. But there's something higher than that hmm. in the midst of it. Hmm. What the Lord's will is. He's speaking his vision, actually. Hmm. His vision for us to have his son's life and then relate, exp 
friends, love your God, <laughs> all your heart, all your mind, all your soul first. Mm -hmm. That's a song. Then love your brothers as unto yourself. And so mm -hmm. says my point, give them the best. Lay down your life on them. So this is the will of God. If at some point, Philippine Paul said, if somebody you, some point you for sure, then <laughs> differently. yeah, think differently. Well, God is going to in due time going to reveal that to you. So you know, mm. in the, Amen, Hallelujah. This is the mind of Christ. The same book said he emptied himself. He didn't grab sonship as something, or the glory of some to be something grabbed. He laid down his life. Let's look at that. Mm. Amen, Hallelujah. Philippines, the same book. Am I speaking about this? Thank you, Father. Well, I give you some sleeping thoughts, but they are profoundly important. Because through the ages, now we can know how scattered, as I came from in the introduction, how man has sidetracked God's word, mm -hmm. the teaching God's word. Mm -hmm. So, two, Philippines 2, 5 said, Amen, Hallelujah. Actually, from the beginning, let me just swear fast. If you have any encouragement from being one with Christ, if any comfort from His love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, you see that? Speaking Christ, His love, His Spirit, if any tenderness, compassion, that is more than personal trait, just speaking about Tenderness towards His Word. Don't hide in your heart. Amen. Mm. Amen. So then make my joy complete by... Amen. He encouraged them, make my joy complete. Just like Christ said, my joy I give to you, you know? Amen. You need to love one another. Make my joy complete. Mm. Make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love. Being one in spirit and purpose, vision, amen, in the vision how you do things. Do nothing out of self ambition or when conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourself. That is a little bit the wrong translation. He's not there compare one another. Mm. He's not addressing that issue. That issue is not compare the competition here. He's speaking about the lifestyle. He said, take others' interest before yourself. It's a will for love. It was not merely the limited competition. It was saying, this is how we're supposed to develop relationships. Thank others before you. Take others before yourself. Mm. Amen? As Christ did, then right? This attitude. Mm. You see, when the mind is religious, what happened? It translated everything with <laughs> tainted word. And we try to do it, we cannot do it because we don't have the culture, you see? So, yeah. Anyway, so, let's see. But in humility, uh, put us before yourself. Am I right? Put us before yourself. Each one of you should uh, look not only, see, that's exactly what he said. Look not on your own interest, but also the interest of others. But actually, it's not also, but ahead of yourself, love your neighbor as on yourself. Amen? Hallelujah. No greater love than this, I lay down my life for another. That's Paul's commentary for Jesus' teaching. Mm -hmm. So then he said, he said, he explained Jesus who he liked, what a kind of mind he has. Your attitudes or your mind, amen, should be the same as that Christ Jesus. But we have the mind of Christ, this attitude of Christ. Well, we think about the mind of Christ, often what do we think? Glorious revelation, mighty power, wonderful mm -hmm. design. But we never know the song. He loved the Father, he laid down his life for others. Mm -hmm. He loved the world, he willing to sacrifice himself, empty himself. This is what Paul said. Your attitude should be the same, amen, as Christ Jesus, who being in the word, in word nature, God. Amen. Nature here is in the form God. So he is in every way have the capacity as God, as he said to others, said, I can call angels any time before he's crucified. Am I? Just to smash everything around, <laughs> out. And, uh, but I, I didn't. I laid down my life. 
choose to go to the cross. To did not consider equity with God, that is capacity, his authority, his mind, with God something to be grasped. Then the word is not grasped as we think intellectually understood something. Speaking about hold on, cling on to it. Like a jack would cling on to Esau's leg, right? So drag it. So he didn't grab his his right to be equal with God as something he has a grab on. Hmm. He let it go, made a willing sacrifice. Amen. To be made himself nothing, taking the word nature, so there are two nature, one equity with God, the other one like a slave, am I right? That word serenity. So he gave up his inheritance, he gave up his birthright. And then being made in human likeness, being like a man, and being found in appearance as a man, that is in the bodily form, and he humbled himself, become obedient to death, even death on the cross. And it's literally what this did. So, therefore, God exalted him to the highest place. Amen? Hallelujah. So, may we ask, what the place before that then? Where it came from? Oh, there's hidden is the, is the key of glorification, what it means. Hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. You see my point in this? Amen. Hallelujah. And give him the name that is above every name. You see, before that, is his name above every name? Hmm. Hmm. Well, it may be so. In God's desire, in God's heart, in the Father's heart. But he didn't declare that. Am I right? Hmm. It's just like God created everything. He has not given Adam the right to name others. <laughs> so, <laughs> Well, that's created. It's all there. God, but God didn't set in order yet. Hmm. See, He didn't give the declaration of authority, power, and privilege yet. Now here is Jesus. He is the uh, firstborn from a. Among the dead. Yeah, from a, those who don't die, basically, <laughs> like including angels. Amen. <laughs> and through this death, life, hmm. experience, resurrection powers, that's what Paul tried to grasp. This is a whole mystery there. It's more than just we don't die. Hmm. It's this whole mystery of the ruling authority, power being granted to the Son of Man. Hmm. Amen? Through our faith in Christ Jesus. Is that amazing? Is this the way we preach the gospel? Hmm. Understood the gospel? You pray for us. Right? Hmm. Lord, we thank you for continuing to unveil your wisdom to to declare and proclaim your truth. Lord, may we always have eyes to see and ears to hear the truth that comes from, from you, from, from above. Jesus, we thank you for, for making the way, for humbling yourself, for being the perfect and first son. We desire to to learn and walk in that way. Mm. The way that you have showed, the way that you have unlocked. Mm. And we praise your name. Mm -hmm. mm. We bow and kneel before you. Mm. We thank you. Mm. Amen. Intense that it, and the name of Jesus, something happened, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> and the name of Jesus now, every knee, he become a son of man, exalted and glorified in God as the Son of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So two become one. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Mm -hmm. In heaven and earth and under the earth. So now every rock, am I right? Mm -hmm. He crucified. Uh, he, he, he redeemed. Amen. And he, he, he exalted over. Amen. Mm -hmm. He has a right to say, I am the highest. I am the, the first. Mm -hmm. I am the supreme one. Uh, the supremacy, you know. Mm. Yes. And every tongue confesses Christ is the Lord to the glory of the Father. Glory means joy, honor, and right? Mm. The Father. The Father said, This is my beloved Son. Worship him. <laughs> Treat him as you go with me, in a sense. So 
Amen. Hallelujah. Can you believe that? That's the gospel. And that's the gospel. Now, that being said, so we see this worship, this renewal, this teaching the word of God, with the effect which is planted us, made us legitimate sons in the house of God. Amen. Hallelujah. This, this discipleship assumption. As we saw. Also, it's not a fellowship merely between man. I'm talking about the good understanding of the scriptures, like the Pharisees did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> or many think they have the right to do it. Because that's the wrong order in the church. Mm. See, you can't do that. Literally, the Lord forbid us to do that. Because that's not His fellowship. So, it has to be on the earth, that is in where? Mm. In heaven. So, let's read it from 1 John now, so we know what word of God is here. How this fellowship made it out. This fellowship is about the, the living word of God. He said in the beginning, it said that which, 1 John 1, 1 said it, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes. So Jesus bring about a living way of God mm -hmm. from, from above. Am I right? So he then imparted to their midst. He said, I'm that word. I'm that, I'm that vision. You know, I'm that way of life. I'm that culture and economy. And then governing order. Amen. It's not reading word. Am I? But mainly reading now. That's 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 what it is, right? So you can't scholarly study that to so say you get that. Mm -hmm. You gotta have it. Mm -hmm. Amen. So which you have seen with eyes. Well, interesting enough, Tim. Why not share some testimony? You know, every time right now we we talk to the Kenya Bra sisters, it's always new summers come and say, "Is it repentance? They're going to testify, you know." Mm -hmm. They will see help and heaven, they will see the Lord in their midst. So every time it's a surprise to us. Go ahead. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they proclaim with joy, you know, especially the newcomers, that, uh, you know, their, their eyes are open and that they're hearing things for the first time. Mm. And, uh, you know, they're very repentant and ready to, to hear and to move on mm. uh, with a newness of life. Mm. So, mm. some even say, you have saved my life mm. um, through this word. Mm. So, yeah, they will see the Lord come in their midst. Mm. The Spirit of God open heaven. What I mean is that, you know, when the power of the Spirit, the Spirit is always willing. Mm. When you teach the real word of God, what happens? The Spirit is willing. Mm. It's not about us. It's about His heavenly mm. ways being made real. But we often try to study where our heart is, search the diligence of the scripture of God, you would think you have found a life in it. Mm. What is that? Mm. You actually run away from it. Mm. Because the way you're doing things are made by the traditions of man. So that's what Jesus said. Mm. So this living reality, if you get a hold of God, they're willing to get to you, am right? So anytime, anywhere. I mean, because that's what He wants. I mean, he want that. He give his song up just for this purpose. Mm -hmm. But we think it's too hard. Um, listen, um, let's go on. So, which we look at that, and our eyes touch, uh, our hands touch. This we pray, claim concerning what? The word mm -hmm. of life. Mm -hmm. This we teach, basically, minister. The life appeared, and we have seen it and testified to it. And we teach to you the eternal life, which was with the Father and has revealed Himself to us, appeared to us. So that's appear, okay? You know, the same word appear. It's not future appearance, it's speaking of already showed and already revealed. Oftentimes we think, let's turn to 3 3. Said it. 3 1, sorry. How great the love the Father has lavished on us that we shall be called sons of, God. sons of God. That is, which we are. The reason with the world don't know us, that it does not know Him. Dear friends, now if we are sons of God, I'm sorry, we are sons of God, 
and what we will be have not yet been appear, <laughs> be manifested. Amen. Hallelujah. So is it speaking of future or not? No, not to the man, but to those who eyes open is our fellowship in heaven, and right with God. See that? It's a living community. Mm -hmm. Kianonia. This key word here is Kianonia. Mm -hmm. The fellowship, the word of God. You don't see us because you're in the world. You can't see us. You can't receive with us because you're of the world. Mm -hmm. We're not of the world, therefore. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's what their argument about Jesus and him, right? So, amen. So, but we know that when he what well, is revealed, where someday come on the cloud that he will do. But what he's here is talking about hmm. speaking in you, reveals himself in you. Hmm. And Paul said, "The place is the Father to reveal His Son in in me. The Word of God richly dwells in." You, amen. Say, what is the word? The word of God. The word of eternal life. Mm -hmm. Now, you not talk about this memorized scriptures. You talk about the, a living way of God. Mm -hmm. He has opened the living way. Let's draw bodily to the Son of God. What? He has given us all provisions thereof. All the blessing in heaven to others. He has given us a living way. Mm -hmm. The way of the living, in a sense. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm making sense to you? Mm -hmm. So... But we now know him, uh, but we know that when he appears, so he reveals himself in us and among us. Because that's what it means to be a people of God. God is with you. God is in you. Mm -hmm. Amen? Jesus said the spirit work is, he reveals something to you. He reveals something in you. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Making sense to you? Mm -hmm. And will reveal the Father, the Son to you. And reveal himself in you. Amen. Hallelujah. You are one with him. So then everybody has this hope. Word of hope is for sure. Because our hope is always put in the future. Hmm. Hope, 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 hope. What's the expectation? Something is real. Like I can reach it. <laughs> Amen. Hope, yes. Hope. To this point, you know, Paul said so. The hope, the English word, is a connotation. He said, "Is evidence of things I'll see." Hmm. And what? What is the, What is this next? The, the substance. The substance of what? Things hoped. Things in hope for. Things in your back as well. So you, you you come to eat this food. Lessons of the teaching. Expect your spiritual life to what? To grow. Hmm. To be strengthened. Mm -hmm. Amen. Is that something? Now, yeah, the invisible God, His blessing in the heavenly realms, now actively be ministered to you. Mm -hmm. That's the whole essence of the canon here, or, or the, the, the communion fellowship. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Amen? The teaching of the Word of God. Impart life to you. Mm -hmm. Amen? In a living way. I'm making sense mm -hmm. to you. Say amen. Hallelujah. Now, you see, mm -hmm. all those arguments disappear. Those wee word, half cooked, scattered on the standings disappeared. So what is Antichrist spirit then? The anti this culture, anti this work the spirit, is Antichrist spirit. <laughs> anti the servant of the Lord has the capacity to bring this ministry from heaven to your midst. That is Antichrist spirit. It's, you don't check. Okay, is you confess Jesus Christ? Well, the devil confesses Jesus Christ is the Lord. No, everybody confesses he's the Lord. <laughs> everybody cannot deny he comes to flesh, resurrection. Can anybody deny that? Huh? Yeah. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so, speaking about the living way, the Lord wants to embody his people, establish people, raise up the church to be this holy people, representation of his heavenly. Culture, am I? His heavenly culture. Anything against this increase of his garment, increases the family, increases the people, is anti the anointing. The anointing is accomplishing something. <laughs> He's making a holy people. I'm making sense to you guys. It's very simple. Just don't fall into the trap of the jungle of a man's mindsets. Mm -hmm. To argue, study, 
but they're blinded. And then, they're like a Pharisee, is blinded. Now let me just word blind. Is the Saint Augustine knows this? Not much. Hmm. If he knows, he will not write lengthy books try to argue him, right? Hmm. He will produce a living people. He will not concentrate on state affairs, how the hierarchy for the church should be built. He will produce a living people. Amen? He will produce a family God. That's it. Amen. Do you understand this, my point? Yes. Therefore, it will not depend on those external powers. Powers that is, God said, He has no need for, and He has no regard for, to support and establish what only God can accomplish. No matter what that means, and we don't, God don't use all things for His good purposes. I'm not saying that, okay? I'm only saying that as a leading teacher of God's way, that impact whole church. Should they be the kind of argument or vision we cast to people? Hmm. Evidently not. Hold up your hand. Be bold. <laughs> be Clean up the jungle. Am I walk out this jungle argument? Are they there? Are they in heaven? Are they from heaven? Uh, obviously not. <laughs> it's Greek thoughts, Greek training. It's a religious passions. A team preference. Be set free from those religious stuff. So, in there. Lord, whatever has clouded. This, this has, Lord, this way of thinking, Lord, this mindset and this perception of your will and the working out of your will, Lord, would you cut through it, cut it down and make the path clear, Lord, that we, in our hearts and our minds, may, that there would not be anything that would pre-filter and misconstrue your perfect ways. Lord, literally make them cloudy and confusing as if you have not made yourself known and are not continuing to do so in the way that you have always designed and purposed. Lord, we pray that this cleansing work be accomplished in us so that we can move on in good conscience and with a pure heart and a sound mind. Mm. In Jesus' name. Amen. So we see God. What is the word of God? Let me read. In the beginning, John, 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 John the Gospel, one moment. Let's, let's let me do scripture. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> one one. So it says, in the beginning was the word. So the, the little title would be, what is the word of God? We all think word of God. And some hold of the Bible said, this is the word of God. For sure, it is. In, in its own right, and in its own light. But if you think you memorize and adequately dissected every word, and my hermeneutics, expository, whatever the word. You think that's going to, you, you're going to get in the internal life by doing that? Did not the Lord himself tell you, don't do that? you got to have the living spirit. You can't use your mind to study the word of God. Well, I'm blessed when the Lord is shed on my intellect. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I saw was, the living, yes, it was about something on the page, golden light come out. If I had that, I said, oh, oh, I can't read that. It was my stupid mind. I was intellectual. I know all the trickery for philosophies, <laughs> in a sense. Well trained in logic, reasoning. We're sharp, we're critical. Hope it didn't bad tempered, however. <laughs> <So, laughs> but then, you can't convince me unless you, you know, I really believe it, so, you know, so. Um, but 
the point is that when when all that complicated, complic complex complicated what is the word complicated complicated you know this intricate mind. I'm a well, I was a complete man, mm. so physically man, and then God just he 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 is merciful to me. Mm. He said, well. You can't read my book like that. Let's let me show you. So, <laughs> golden lights come out, then, right? After tormented from the day, the very word is spoken. You walk towards, then, right? And shine out the pages. So, why? I'm on dawn. Hmm. I said, I can't, I don't know how to read any book. Hmm. That, that's my conclusion. That means I was a foolish man to the point that, that I have so deceived myself. Because I never thought you can have this kind of input from anywhere. Hmm. Everything has to do with how I study, how I think, how I, how I reason. But here it is. I will tell you, there's time God download things like a, like a, a computer download things, am I right? In a millisecond, I have so many things given to me. I don't know what happened to me. I don't have words for it, right? So can I? Nobody can. There are times you, you, you don't know where you are. You don't remember you see anything. You only know that something has to go through your spirit. You don't even go through your mind. So I'm saying that, well, those all the legitimate work of God, He can do anything. I mean, the Bible said it surpasses our do you love a dog because you can explain it? <laughs> do you, you mean, do you do you appreciate the cat because he talked to you? <laughs> he does talk, but it's not in our language, all right? Not through the mind. Mm -hmm. But we think that is a so paramount mm -hmm. for spiritual input. We can't do without. Oh, okay. We need a vision dream. We need a visitation, right? Those are, uh, exceptional moments, hmm. exceptional tools. Well, how about the human mind is the best tool you get? <laughs> the Holy Spirit in you, the, the Spirit of man in you. I mean, your soul spirit is the best, the best vessel. Hmm. If its ability being expanded like the seven fold. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You. You, 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 from the threshold, the eastern gate, directed into the, into the ark of God, right? <laughs> In the ark of God, not just before the ark of God, you become the ark of God. Let me say, God dwells in you, what it means. Say that, pray for us. Right? Have a faith, I'll tell you. <laughs> yes, Lord. We desire to have more faith, Lord, the real thing. Lord, we thank you for this mighty, mighty call, this amazing truth. Lord, may we not approach and receive things in our mind. Lord, we do thank you and praise you when you show the foolishness of our own intellect, our own ideas of things. Lord, we desire to come to you with a pure and humble heart. Lord, with a recognition in our own, Lord, our own shortcomings. Lord, we thank you for shining a light. We desire to walk and remain in that light. Mm. Thank you for this way. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. So let's read this, because this is the key words to know the Word of God can't escape. So. Anyway, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was God, the Word was God, He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made without Him. Nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of man. And the light shines in darkness, but the darkness does not constitute it. We were used to be darkness, am I right? So, 14. The Word became flesh, or take on human bodily form and made his dwelling among us, his appearance, his presence among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one only, who come from the Father, 
full of grace and truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, twelve. Yet to all who receive him, the living word of God, to those who believe in his name, in his name means he, namely, is the son of God. Am I? Become the son of man. So what in his name means? Man, Jesus is on the pedestal, in the icon, in the, in the, in the, in the worship book. No. Amen. He's a living way. He's a full of grace, the truth. That's what it is. He's a living what? In the name means in the vision, in the intent, in the purpose. Amen? In the whole authorization, the grace of God for something to accomplish. This economy, am right? This name. Amen? Hallelujah. You go to uh, if you have a father, he said, I'll give you some money. Go there, purchase the land, and build a vineyard for me. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Now you come in whose name? Hmm. In your father's name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then he said, Well, anybody can become like me. Get the money from the father and purchase your own vineyard. <laughs> Get your own inheritance. Amen. And more than that, you more than have the vineyard, you're gonna have the name of God with you. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have the we'll become the same family. Is that not what Jesus did? Mm -hmm. Yes. So you have the name. So is he merely coming in name because I have money? I could give you I can have a vineyard for himself only? Or he said, No, I come in the capacity in this way of grace. If you believe my name, this I represented, you will equally become a son with a birthright and inheritance to own your own yard. And then you, you have your own inheritance. You become a son of God, legitimately son of God, adopted back to the Father. That's what Jesus said. So in his name, you baptize his name. Some say, oh, we don't baptize this, we don't baptize that. In this name we baptize. Uh, it's a redundant argument. Do you see how shabby that is? How ridiculous it is? It's in this name, in the stead of a father, for sure. But in the name of the Son. Amen? You have to believe in the name of the Son. Then the Spirit actualizes in the Spirit. That's in in the authorized. When you talk about name, you're talking about authorization, you talk about the government, you're talking about the whole economy. There's a whole grace that embodied through a, a covenantal, uh, covenantal maybe, covenantal. Um, I don't have a Ben, I don't have a Ben's family, am right? <laughs> I don't have, I can't know Cheryl, you know? Maybe I can, but it's different capacity, am I? Right? So, yeah. amen? Hallelujah. So, you represent the whole family, you see? That's the name what it means. You represent every provision and thereof. Mm -hmm. Every grace thereof. Mm -hmm. Every responsibility. Uh, every blessing thereof. Let's see. Amen. Hallelujah. So I have your agreement. I have your blessing. I have your whole family blessing. Am I? So, mm -hmm. Amen. Making sense to you? So, Amen. So grace given to me. Mm -hmm. It's always a personal. It's always active. It's not a generalization of topic. As some made him to be. You just believe that grace is going to happen, happen to yours. you got to have it hmm. in the name, in the reality, basically, in the economy of heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, he's surreal. Hmm. But if we believe in the living name, living word of God, what happened? All those things are actualized, made available for us. Amen. Hallelujah. To all those who receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gives the right to become sons of God. Sons not born of a natural descent, but of a, a human decision or a husband will, but born of what? God. Born of God. That is, born of God is more than born of as we think, because we associate that with newborn baby. That's what our Lord said. Born of means adoption, means full restoration, authorization, political song come back. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The birthright, am I speaking about? Am I? And inheritance speaking about. So, okay.
Paris made another scripture talking about Peter's understanding of this ministry of the Word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Turn with me to First Peter. Tim, can you help me to read it? In 17 to the to the to to two. So, so we're speaking the vision. I'm going to come back to the vision. Actually, this whole thing is so, all together. So, but it started there. Come back to this. One seventeen. Yeah, 117 to 22 for now, so we're going to continue to read later on. Yeah. Since you call on a father who judges each man's work impartially, live your lives as strangers here in reverent fear. For you know that it, is, it was not with perishable things, such as silver or gold, that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your forefathers. But with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. No, hold on there. If anybody believes that once is saved, confess Christ Jesus the Lord, he is ever saved. Would Peter talk like this? Hmm. Would Peter talk like this? Why he not talk about once he say he's saved, just good to go, okay. do good? Or he said, no, be careful. Be careful with your salvation. Be careful with your life in the Lord. I mean, so he's, amen, hallelujah. Evidently, he didn't with that pretense mm -hmm. <laughs> to approach the teaching of the Word of God and admonish people to lead their life. Am I right? So, mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead. I'm just talking. He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. Through him you believe in God, who raised him from the dead and glorified him, and so your faith and hope are in God. Now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth, so that you have sincere love for your brothers, love one another deeply from the heart. You see, the same in the monition, like Paul did. Right, go ahead. For you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and enduring word of God. Amen. For all men are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers, and the flowers fall. But the word of the Lord stands forever. What word? This living word, am I right? Mm. The ball of the Bible is going to wrap it up, maybe burn away. Mm. Amen. You don't, my somebody don't even remember the scripture, but he knows God. Amen. Abraham knows God. Enoch knows God. Am I right? So you can't say don't have a word of God. Yeah, I'm just talking. So mm. yes. And this is the word that was preached to you. Therefore, rid yourselves of all malice and all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and slander of every kind. Do not live like a world, am I in the world anymore, am I? Do not live to the principles of this world, as Paul said. Have your mind renewed. Wash yourself in the Word of God. Go ahead. Like newborn babies, crave pure spiritual milk, so that by it, you may grow up in your salvation now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. So what it's saying is that reflect receiving the benefits of the fruit of the ministry of the Word of God and right, the teaching of the Word of God. Hallelujah. Now we we'll, we'll have a lot to cover, but uh, amen, hallelujah, we see this, am I right? So first we see the Word of God is revealed as a pattern of internal life. And it's related to the relationship, the restoration of us as a son of man to become a son of God. It's full endowment of the birthright and the promise of inheritance, which is our glory and, and the blessing in Christ Jesus. So we see this as a gospel, right? So now what this vision 
is most narrow to persons, each person, but God wants to have a people. Amen? We sometimes we talk about it as being a thing in dressing. Now, welcome to rush to that very quickly now. So God intended to have a people to dwell together, to have a table he to the Father and the head, and everybody fellowship with him. Am I that's what he wants. Therefore he sent his servants through the ages to teach to impart this vision. Yet he rejected them again and again as man. Amen. Then he testified. He did exceptional things. Like raising him from the dead, glorifying in the sight of heaven. Am I? He did all those things in order to. So there are two things in the teaching of the word of God. One is to impart the vision, to affirm the vision, to remind the vision. The other is to testify. If you believe the vision, what happened? You believe the vision, you will be blessed. You don't believe the vision, you will be punished. Mm. Amen. So there is a prophetic. And there's a teaching. Amen. Hallelujah. Apostle ministry, impart the vision. Amen. Hold the vision. Build up the vision. Prophet ministry, warn, admonish. Amen. Hallelujah. Get into back to the vision. Get into back to the vision. Draw back to God. Draw back to God. Amen. Hallelujah. They work together the same goal. The same goal. Amen. Now turn with me to the vision. Now what God's vision through His Word? Merely give us a book of testimonies or teachings, then we get nowhere to study every day, make a dictionary about ourselves. No, we hold our vision to heaven and become a holy people. Amen. Become a people of His chosen. Amen. Hallelujah. Turn with me, Ezekiel 11. You know, we know this. First, way, first let's turn to Exodus 19. Let's see this vision. When God called the Israelites out Egyptian, uh, the Egypt, Egypt, he emphasized to them, he threw Moses, God made Moses come back to say, you'll bring, you know, this is a sign for you, you'll bring uh, people back to me, my people back to me to this place of worship. You will know that I fulfill, am I? My word to you is true. Now, so Moses did that in 19th chapter, then he went out to meet his God. The one who sent him. Amen. Hallelujah. In 19th chapter in 1. In the third month after the Israelites left Egypt, on the very day they came to the desert of Sinai, the very day, the first day, after they set out from Raphidim, they entered the desert of Sinai, and Israel camped there in the desert in front of the mountain. And Moses went up to God. So went back to ask God. To meet God. I have done this job. Now what's next? Please. And the Lord called him from the mountain and said, This is what you are to say to the host of Jacob. And you are to tell the people of Israel, You yourself have seen what I did to Egypt. So he gave him a reminder. And uh, that's the picture of the word. The world, am I, will be judged. Am I, and we are the holy people be set apart. So all this is more than Israelite people. We, in us, and when we, present this, we understand the prophetic meaning, is with his church, God's church, be set apart from the world. Amen. We, and we become a, a unique people, which is the same type of the vision. The teaching of the Word of God meant to produce a people, meant to produce holy songs for God, but as songs is always going to have a, a community, have a family, and a church, right? so, a fellowship. And become a people. So we talk about the two together today. Amen. What the ministry of the word of God meant to do? Sanctify you personally and produce a cooperative people of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's see. Uh, so you yourselves have seen what I did to Egypt and how I carry on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now, this is Moses become a messenger. Amen. Right? God dictated the message. But now if you obey me, you can imagine Moses had to shout to all the cloud, am I ever there to hear him? There are millions of people. Now if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, there's no covenant yet, am I? So what covenant are we talking about? 
the law has not been right on the tablet stone, and right? So evidently the comment is merely not about the law here. So, amen. Keep my covenant. What covenant? The covenant that he had with the forefathers. They become a chosen people because of this reason. They are the, all the nations, all the peoples basically. You will be for me treasure possession. Oh, the whole earth is mine. So he said, you know, what a privilege you are. You are uniquely privileged. You are blessed. You are my chosen people. You will be for me a kingdom. More than chosen people, they are meant to be something. Am I right? Now, here is a quandary for these lives. They want the good blessings. Oh, yeah, we are unique. You in the Jesus, you know, they thought they were sons of Abraham, right? Mm. They were sons of David. But they refused God's vision. Now that's quick. That very important for us church, church to do repentance work. We all believe God is going to give us goodies. But we refuse to become the people He wants us to be. We do our own things. We're people scatterness, lawless. We refuse to embrace this vision for the people. Ah, just bless me, bless me, bless us, bless this nation, bless this, bless America, bless China, bless India. All those cries is the worst people love them. What is the priority there? Are you not worthy people? Bless Egypt, bless Babylon. That's the equivalent to God. God said, you people of idolatry. <laughs> you people of blindness and foolishness. So have I not told you what kind of people I want you to be? What kind of order of a prayer and the priority I want you to be? People go to the capital to pray. They refuse to talk to their own song. Invest in their own communities. No. God's wrath is against those people. Let me tell you, don't want good term. Don't touch them. Let them go. Amen? Hallelujah. I don't care how much thing you stir up. The more you stir up, the more God is going to judge you. Because you mislead what? His people. You misrepresent His vision. You abused, misused His name. Amen. It's judgment. What kind of people God will judge? People don't know, or people know better, but they misuse His purpose, misuse His name. Somebody pray for us. This is a heavy message, or should it be a simple message. Simple message. Go ahead. <clears throat> Lord, we do ask, Father, that uh, Lord to have the real heart, Lord. For you, Lord, the heart that you designed and intended from the beginning, that would be traced down from generation to generation until the end. So, Lord, we we ask that you would secure that within us, and that we would not stray from it, Lord, but safeguard it with all of our heart, with all of our strength, Lord. So Lord, we praise you for you are worthy. You are God. You are the creator. You are the king. And are worthy of all praise and glory and honor. You are holy. Mm. We love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Mm. You know, I just, as talking, to expound on this, how God sees things that we should learn to discern. The foolishest man. Uh, Prima sent a message talking about the Cape Town, you know, in South Africa, I have been on drought for many years, I don't have city water anymore, everything is maybe on, on the, you know, source supply of water. And then recently there was rain come down. And there was one person, pastor or somebody initiated, on BBC News I read, you know, so it doesn't sit me well, it just came up, the Lord said it, draw it out as an example, how foolish man is. Mm. So this one said, uh, in 
in social media where I said, you should believe that God indeed made me a prophet because of his word. Well, if you're a prophet, this word is simple, have you ever thought why God gave the draw to begin with? Why you don't concentrate that message? Just because God releases some rain, releases certain, certain difficulty, where is the heart of God in this? Hmm. So who is the center of this attention and this declaration? I think you are absolutely by definition in the word of God called the false prophet. That's totally misrepresenting God's intention. God, have mercy. You need to pray, thank God. You, you answer our prayers. Has nothing to do with you. I'm a prophet. What kind of prophet you are? To talk like that. So you are the head, you are the beginning, you are the center of all this. So God really sends the rain for you to be a prophet? Or He answers the cry and the cry of the people, He showed mercy. Should not you think about His mercy? That's a prophet. And how about become like a Daniel and repent the sin of the people? Because God didn't send that there. Just because he wanted, okay, somebody is going to affirm you as a prophet. That's so ridiculous. Yet nobody take, it become on the news. Nobody said, that is deadly wrong. Ah, let me tell you, don't want to be that prophet. I don't want to touch that prophet. <laughs> don't be in my life. You know, there was a day in a, New Testament story, actual biblical story, said there was this God, uh, John the Apostle, right? So when he get old, he had this, uh, there was this, this bad teacher, <laughs> false teacher called Cornelius or something like that, Cor Cor Corina, whatever. So you he heard he was in a bath tub, you know, those days of public, public baths, right? You know? <laughs> and he heard that guy was there. <laughs> He was already he's wearing his clothes, he ran on the bath, the public bath, you know. I don't want to even take a bath under the same roof this week in man. Hmm. Now that man is a teacher though, in the church, and have many followers. Hmm. But John, the apostle, would think he has so many honors, so many authority, right? Hmm. He understand, he didn't have a hesitation to call that is false and problematic in, in the will of God. Are we ready? Are we ready to make a difference for God? That's the thing you're going to have to confront and the, the, the diagnose. Now, anybody have different opinion, I don't care. God is still his opinion. What you want to know a false prophet is? That's a false prophet. There's no heart really for God. Self-importance, self-indulgence, self-exaltation. Amen. Hallelujah. Is there a God in there in that statement? No, too much. Yeah. Too much to talk about. But nobody around in the church where he is, in the fellowship where he is, in the country where he is, to tell him, shut up. <laughs> Mm. That's a problem. The problem is talking the weakness of the church, the weariness of the church. That's because we have a bunch of leaders or people of God aspire to that kind of prophet. Mm. And the shame on God's people. Amen? That's why we lost the legitimacy in the Lord. Mm. Amen? Tim, you rise up, pray for us. Mm. Never, never. Never be used by God like that. <laughs> Lord, may we ever be set apart for your purposes and never for our own. Never for our own vain imagination. Never from our, our own idea or hope for approval of others. 
Lord, may we know Your heart and Your way with purity. That the words that we speak might be pure. Lord, that whatever we do, we actually become the fulfillment of Your Word and not the fulfillment of man's desire. Lord, You said Your people would be a peculiar people, not like others. You said that they must be holy as You are holy, not of this world. So Lord, I know without any proclamation of it that You are going to draw this line of demarcation between the holy and the profane. Mm. First in our hearts, then among Your people, then in the world. Lord, let our hearts be undivided Give us a clean heart, mm. a pure heart. In pure hearts. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody read for me Ezekiel 11. Um, 16 to, to the end of the chapter. Mana son and Mana year. So God on the people. We'll see that in this in this prophetic vision, prophetic word. Please go ahead. Therefore say, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Although I sent them far away among the nations and scattered them among the countries, yet for a little while I have been a sanctuary for them in the countries where they have gone. So the Israelites give the promised land, and then keep the promise very well, keep God's vision very well, then God took them away, and I scattered them. But He will promise restoration, is here's the prophet is speaking about. Go ahead. Therefore say, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I will gather you from the nations, and bring you back from the countries where you have been scattered, and I will give you back the land of Israel again. Mm -hmm. They will return to it and remove all its vile images and detestable idols. I will give them an undivided heart and put a new spirit in them. What are the two things? Undivided heart. Mm -hmm. Before that, the divided heart. Mm -hmm. Second, a new spirit. Mm -hmm. That word is more than a new spirit. It's, uh, you know, we often say new is old. Garment, new garment, you know, whatever new things. Mm -hmm. He is talking to new humankind, new spirit of man. Mm -hmm. So you can't do that. We often think, oh, it's new spirit because we are downcast, we dispersed, we we have did bad thing. God forgive us, renew us. Not true. But God said, I will give a new spirit. I make a new man of you, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I will give them an undivided heart and put a new spirit in them. I will remove from them their heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh. Then they will follow my decrees and be careful. As a result, the new heart, new spirit will happen. See, be able to become that holy people. Amen. Mm. Go ahead. Follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. They will be my people. And I, and I will be their God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember the law. My servant Moses, Malachi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will send the Elijah, you know, mm -hmm. in the days to come. He will restore the heart, the fathers, mm -hmm. to the sons, to restore his, mm -hmm. unite. Mm -hmm. And the sons' heart to the fathers. Unite with what? In the law, the vision of Moses. Amen. Hallelujah. In this holy people. Mm. Amen. We often just scatter. Okay, God is going to make a Elijah movement. Make a, a fatherhood movement. <laughs> he wants to curse land. We're going to have good land. 
No, it's in this region, the culture, the people that are involved in the law. The law is spiritual, amen? It's not because they can give us some gifts or bless us here and there. Our law is spiritual because it's the embodiment of the gospel. A holy people, a chosen people, a royal priesthood. Amen? Go ahead. Yes. Mm -hmm. But as for those whose hearts are devoted to their vile images and detestable idols... I will bring down on their own heads what they have done, declares the Sovereign Lord. Yeah, that man, like the Kitam thing, he is worshipping idols. Hmm. I don't care how many excuses it is. That, that is a target of God's wrath and need repentance. Hmm. That's absolutely the opposite to why we serve God hmm. and praise Him for His mercy. That's the opposite. That is, uh, by biblical definition, false prophets. And here Ezekiel said, God detested him. So, do you understand? Three years without rain is a warning. And there's no emphasis what God warned, what greed heart, what God heavy in his heart. Oh, hey, God's Hey, God sent rain to us. We have no problem anymore. We are good to go. What, where is the message that? Go ahead. Then the cherubim, with their wheels beside them, spread their wings, and the glory of the God of Israel was above them. The glory of the Lord went up from within the city, and stopped above the mountain east of it. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me to the exiles in Babylonia in the vision given by the Spirit of God. That's fine, brother. You mm -hmm. see that, and right? Mm -hmm. Ezekiel had a unique experience in this. Somebody read for me Jeremiah 31. 32, 32, I believe. So, so. Uh, actually, is this a ritual scripture or what? If ritual is there, <laughs> read for us. Yeah. Um, it will be 27 to... Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Bless the Lord. 237. Amen. Time for good food. Amen for real food. One more time, what was it? Huh? Jeremiah 31, 27 to 37. Well, if Rachel are not there, somebody else read for us. Amen. Sure. Mm. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will plant the house of Israel. And read the house, louder. Amen. <clears throat> when I will plant the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the offspring of men and animals, just as I watched over them to uproot and tear down and to overthrow, destroy and bring disaster, so I will watch over them to build and to plant, declares the Lord. In those days people will no longer say, The fathers have eaten sour grapes, the children's teeth are set on edge. Instead, everyone will die for his own sin. Whoever eats sour grapes, his own teeth will be set on edge. The time is coming, coming declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their forefathers when I took them by the hand to lead them out of Egypt because they broke my covenant, though I was a husband to them, declares the Lord. This is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my law on their minds and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. Isn't no that longer. amazing? Hmm. Amen. The mm -hmm. same promise, am right? Now let's just add a little bit of context here. He's the same prophet. These prophecies, God said he basically bring a wine, am I right? Other places, Isaiah, Ezekiel also saying God bring Israelites as a wine planted in the promised land. Mm -hmm. to bear, need to bear good fruits, am I right? Sweet wine, am I? Yet they produce sour wine. They don't get bear good fruits. So, so the picture branches of wine, discipleship, am I right? Go bear fruits, you see? Mm -hmm. They have the wrong kind of teaching going on. The man going on, they produce no spiritual fruits. And God said, I can't continue with this. 
Mm -hmm. I need to teach my law, my ways, to produce a new people for me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. No longer will a man teach his neighbor, or a man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. Now, what that means, often this misconstruction as if, Oh, the Holy Spirit teaches us all things. You just hear how this is this, uh, childish or unlawful, mm -hmm. whatever. It's a prideful way, whatever, useful way. Mm -hmm. Some boys think like that is not spiritual at all. It's full of pride right? and lawlessness. Amen? Hallelujah. That's misused the scriptures, literally. And what it means is that everybody knows God, loves God. Amen? Everybody, uh, they don't need to introduce God to that man again. Am I right? They all belong to God. They all embrace the wisdom of God. They all fellowship in the word of God. Therefore, there's no need to preach the gospel to another man. Hey, be saved. <laughs> Become God's people anymore. That's what it means. Hmm. But we use it as a pretense. I don't need to be taught by any other. The Holy Spirit will teach me. Hmm. I, I heard this many times when I was a young believer. Hmm. It, it, it's it's, it's a, such a hindrance for me. Because it encouraged my own lawlessness. Hmm. It's it's such hindrance because I can't because this I don't know should I yield to other teaching or not, you know? Produce rebellious attitudes in me. Unless until the Lord begins to settle me down. Amen. I see the pattern in the New Testament is to hold the word of ministry. Word of God, the whole the church mission was about. The whole discipleship is rented out. This, if you use that, is there any discipleship to go on? Is there any church teaching the word of God to go on? Is there any leadership to go on? I have the Holy Spirit. Yes, you have the wrong spirit, maybe. <laughs> Rebellious spirit, lawless spirit, the spirit of lawlessness. And today, let's just be seal that. The scripture cannot be used to justify the lawless will of the of people. I don't care how gifted you are in this fashion. The more gifted you are, the more dangerous and redundant and even destructive you are to God's people. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. Should we know all gifts are supposed to be? To give us a humble, teachable spirit? It's not supporting your rebellious and lawless ways? Amen. Hallelujah. And what are you serving for? Are you serving the whole God's people? Or your self-imaginations? Hmm. Self-limited understandings. So God wants the holy people. Amen. He wants a culture of uh, his family where sons will love one another, fellowship with one another, become one with another. He don't want this kind of uh, Foolish struggles. Amen. No more. Amen. There's a folly in the midst of God's people. Hold up your hand. Let's mm. pray God to cut that off. Because some of us use the same scriptures. Dishonor the way of God's household. We have all kinds of lawless ways we justify it. We found some scriptures, but we reject the wholesome of the word of God. The vision. God has is for the people. And anybody need to serve God to the first set this people in your highest regard. Am I? Hallelujah. That's that's what you do. Amen. Any leader, any whatever, you know. If you exercise gifts, you have a gift to know that it's not for you. Amen. It's for God's people. Hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Tim in this regard, pray for us. Lord, how many times did you tell your people, you must be holy, for I am holy. My ways are holy. My life is holy. My intentions and purposes are holy. So what comes from me is holy, even that which I give to you. Lord, I pray that the selfish and senseless ways of man would be 
washed out of us completely. Lord Peter said, let it, you do everything that you do as if it is from God. Mm-hmm. If you speak, then let it be as though you are speaking the very oracles of God. Mm-hmm. If you serve as if you are serving God himself and his own household. Lord, may we take an account for all that we have and first realize we have nothing of our own. And that what we do have, if it is good, then it is from you and is meant to be useful to fulfill your purposes and your ways, especially in your home, in your house, mm-hmm. and with your people. Mm-hmm. And then to the world. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 We don't need to read the rest, you know the story. So now back summing up in First Peter, talking about this region of God to have a people saturated and imprinted with his vision. Amen. Hallelujah with his word. Personally, become a holy unto God. Also together, corporately, become a holy people. Amen. Knows God's way. Amen. Enjoy God's way. Am I? Each one knows God. Mm-hmm. That each one fellowship in the ways of God. Celebrate and be blessed by the will of God. Is that not what God wants? Is that not the spirit of the law, or the heart of the law? Amen. Hallelujah. And it's not what Jesus said, I come not to abolish the law, but to fulfill the law, to fulfill it through this actualization, this ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. Produce the holy people. And Peter knows well. Amen. Peter knows well. So the early apostles. But turn with me to first Peter. We'll continue. Last Time we stop it at the two three. Well, allow me to continue now in two four. I know you all know this. We repeat it many times, but the words to invalidate today, what the teaching of the word of God is about, is to produce this vision, this culture to people. Amen. As you come to him, the living stone, rejected by men, but chosen by God and precious to him. You also like a living stones are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood. Has God divided his purpose when he saw the Israelites out of Egypt? Not the same region, mm. the same gospel. Mm. But they were not fulfilled it in those days, but from to us. Amen. We become new people of God. Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. You also like a living stone being built into a spiritual house to become a, a holy priesthood. You don't a holy priesthood merely have a dead stones all the rooms. You are to there to minister to do things for the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Offering spiritual sacrifices, mm-hmm. which is the life of others. Am I? Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. To receive the blessing of God, accept of God through Jesus Christ. So the temple service is the whole ministry of Christ. This is his life. Mm. Amen. In all ordinances and holiness. Can you serve him without holiness? Without law? I mean the orderly way. Mm. No, you have to. So draw bodily to the throne of God. Is that means? Means with acting unbecomingly. One saved us always saved, the third four we just do whatever we think. Jesus always loved me. Always forgive me, or you should be holy, reverent in this way that I open to you and approach it with a fear and trembling, mm-hmm. with, with reverence, with order, with appreciation, with the sanctity of his ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. You are a holy priesthood. Who can be a, a priest in God without holiness? Mm-hmm. Amen. And you are to minister his holiness. Mm-hmm. He who made, who is holy, now made us holy. Amen. Through the teaching of the living word of God. Amen. Amen. So that another picture analogy comes in is building the living stones, am I right? Into one house, the temple of the Lord. 
Amen. Hallelujah. The teaching of the Word of God has that effect. For the in the scripture says, See, I lay a stone in thy, a chosen and precious cornerstone, and the one who trusts in him will never be put to shame. I'm sorry, you guys feel awkward because I'm in the, in the teaching mode. You know, so. <laughs> well, I think it's okay. I, I get used to it, okay? So actually, the real me come out. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. See, I lay a stone in Zion, chosen and precious cornerstone, and then one who trusts in him will never be put to shame. Means will never be disappointed. Amen. Never be disappointed. Now, to you who believe, this stone is precious, the Lord Jesus. The foundation, the cornerstone, and the campus stone. But to those who do not believe, the stone, the builder rejected it, has become the capstone. Amen. And the stone that causes man to stumble, and the rock that makes him fall to stumble, because he disobeyed the word, amen, for which they were destined for. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belong to God, that you may declare the praises of him, worship him, who called you out of darkness in his wonderful light, whence you were not the people, Amen. Now you are people of God. Once you have not received mercy, now you have received mercy. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Concerning the ministry of the Word of God, let's give the last scripture in John 17. Amen. I can rush us through this, okay? Let's read. Then wrap it up quick. John 17. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, high priestly prayer. Amen. In 13 said. I'd rather before that even. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I like a Santa Dabana Yiya. In 6, he said, I have revealed you, the Father, Jesus said, to those whom you give me out of the world, which we are, is a church. They are yours. You give them to me, and they have obeyed what? Your word. Whose word? The word of God become flesh, his word. Now, they know that everything you have given me comes from you. They know that relationship, all right? They know that fellowship. For I have given them the words you give me, and they accepted them to the discipleship. They know with certainty that I come from you, and they believe that you send me. I pray for them, and I'm praying for all the world. But for those, he's not praying for what? For Romans? He's not praying for the temple? He's not praying for Herod. Shame on Christian today. Amen. He's praying for God's people. Set apart. Truly set apart. Hallelujah. Uh-uh. I'm not saying we don't pray for nation leaders, okay? That's our duty. Mm. I'm talking about that is not your priority. That is not supposed to be your ministry. Mm. There's no legitimate ministry from the church for that. That's it. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you understand my point? Yes. You have to pray to the Father and to do His will. He don't seek for granted. This is what He do. Because it's good for man, for yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't think you heard of God in those things. That's the problem. Amen. I'm very shocked on this. Because it mislead God's people, you see? The mislead God people make us another thing. Yes, they will be dashed, crushed, and shamed, and exposed, and cut down, many of them, in the days to come. Bless our Lord for that. Happy are we! Because God will do real things with His real purpose then, with the real people. Amen? What kind of people you want to? Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. They know with certainty that I come from you. I'm sorry, where are we? I mean, they, but those you have given me, for they are yours. And something the Lord said, Amen, thing he said in, you know, in 15 now, my prayer is not for, it's not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not the world, even as another fit. Sanctified, the key word here, in the day to come, talk about 
the word sanctification. Amen. Sanctify them by the truth. What? Your word is truth. What does that truth then mean? He said, worship him, the same book came right earlier, Jesus said, the Samaritan woman said, worship God, God wants this kind of worshiper, worship me in truth, in spirit. So what truth? The truth is the region. This is a heavenly reality. This is desire, the word of God from the beginning. I mean, he embodied a grace to produce a holy people. That's the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. As you send me to the world, I send them into the world. But then I sanctify myself. And that means I set apart myself as holy for God's purpose. For God's this purpose. He didn't take equity with God as what? Something to be grasped. Yes. To hold on to. He emptied himself. He sanctified himself. For this reason, he become a, a word in human form, become the flesh, living among us. See, this is the same thinking pattern, same same thoughts. Mm -hmm. And for them, I sanctify, I set myself apart for this holy purpose. For this chosen, uh, this this pleasure of yours, this this plan of yours, this wish of yours, that the true may be set apart for this as a holy people. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Amen. Then the work, the Spirit is going to come to work in our life through the living ministry of the Word of God. It's going to wash us clean mm -hmm. unto God. And uh, I'm not sure where the scripture is. So the next time we're going to talk and continue talking about the, the sanctification work. What means God's Word going to sanctify us a little bit and turn with me to uh, I'm more structured today than ever before, I'm sorry. So, Thessalonians somewhere said, uh, either first or second, I don't remember very well. Alaka Shanda Dabana Yiya, Eti Tala Namana Shanda. Where is that uh, team helped me to find the Thessalonians talking about uh, the Word of God and the Sanctifying? Um, oh, here we go. In First Thessalonians 5.23 says, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's read the whole thing it's from 6, 16, sorry. Amen. Hallelujah. 16 said, Thank you, Father. And said, Be joyful always. <laughs> Pray continuously. Give thanks in all circumstances. What is that? In all circumstances. It means thank the circumstances given to you, good or bad. <laughs> hard. <laughs> you think is that hard? I don't want to tumble this slap on my face and uh, thank you Lord. <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> I had to do this. <laughs> thank you Lord. <laughs> but that's what he said. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you Lord for the chain on me. <laughs> that I can drag to Rome to see Caesar. <laughs> thank you, didn't give me a mansion to leave, but they put him in prison so I can prison God to the guards. Thank you, Lord. Is that maybe? Thank you, Lord. You know, I'm chained, your word is not chained at all. He's fly like a bird, you know, so go everywhere. Thank you, Lord. What a wonderful testimony. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> That's all he thinks. It's not stupid positivity. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the word. <laughs> it's a real power. It's a real wisdom. It's a real settlement mm. and devotion to God's living purpose. Amen? Mm. Thank you, Lord, you are sitting here behind my friend. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, I have a good, wonderful, godly man with me. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Mm. Thank you, Lord, I don't have many privileges of the world, so I can be streamed down. Amen? Scaled down to concentrate on the ones that He gave to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that my voice is only in this roof. <laughs> only this roof. <laughs> and not broadcasting to anyone who I don't want to reach to. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And the word only be given to those who have a ear to hear. Thank you, Lord. 
and you will mark them as good. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Amen. Anything outside that is evil. Mm -hmm. Is our self. Is it's 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 deceived. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm 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 sorry to see that, but it is. <laughs> so it is, am right? Mm -hmm. It's self deception. You know, there's they said there's some prophet come to me and said, Oh, you know, you God gonna promote you. <laughs> I was very happy when I got home. I was uh, oh that's great. <laughs> Maybe my life cannot be difficult anymore. <laughs> that's my understanding. <laughs> And they can't help to do that for you, you know. I said, oh, that's great, you know. That means uh, people know eventually you gave me a hard time anymore. <laughs> I seen it on the sofa, I prayed to the Lord. The Lord said, shut that down. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to that. I said, what? The Lord said, yeah. You don't need a promotion. You need a peace agreement with my purpose. Mm -hmm. You can give your future totally to me. Don't worry about it. I am your promotion. You know me, you walk with me, you ever devote to me, and I will devote to you. And we are together in this. Amen. Whatever I do for you is your promotion. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't need another standard mm. to imagine another promotion <laughs> and self imagined or man charted for you. I am your portion. I'm your reward. Abraham. I'm your shield, mm. and I'm your reward. Mm -hmm. mm. So anybody said promotion, blessings, be careful. Let your air, the, the spiritual thing that really hate it up. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Because many are coming with deception. They don't know what they're doing. That's what they do. They don't know better. Mm -hmm. sp sp speak out of their, their own imagination. Amen? Hallelujah. You know, even that can be a blessing to me, or in a certain way, I don't want that blessing. Amen? Hallelujah. <laughs> there was a young man the other day watching. He, he has nothing to prophesy about. His word, word attitude, he taught people to this, to that. It's all about land, money, land, money, property, a contract. Hmm. What about that man's spiritual well-being? <laughs> What about something you need to repent? What about that he need to help a widow, help a poor? Huh? It's all about the ministry, land, money. They sit in this decorated studio, whatever, on the throne, like a dress, all in, in the shiny, like like a, <laughs> a black young man. I don't think they have a clue what God wants to do with the God in life as well. Mm. Shame on them. We have such a Christianity so dishonor God, mm. defame God, yeah. cheapen God, and abuse God's name. Amen. The zeal of the house of the Lord drive the Lord crazy. Am I so? Don't you want that zeal? Mm -hmm. oh, let have it. Amen. Hallelujah. And do not put out the spirit of fire. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Do not do this. Amen. Hallelujah. Give thanks to God in all circumstances for this is God's will for you. What is God's will? This is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do not put out the spirit of fire. Do not treat prophecy with contempt. Test everything. Hold on to the that is good. Avoid every kind of evil. May God Himself, the God of peace. What is the God of? God of peace. Not the agitation. Not the speculation. Not ambition and promotion. Self promotion. Hmm. God of peace. Sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit hold up your right hand. Please. May your whole spirit, soul and body, be kept blameless and the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the one who called you is a faithful. And he will do this. He will do it. He will do this. Amen. Hallelujah for you. You meet perfect in Christ Jesus. 
with that. Let's wrap it up. Bless the Lord. Lord, we give you blessing. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you thanks and worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Team, you pray for us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Father, we want to know your heart. Mm. Lord, the deep places of your heart. Mm. Lord, may the deep in us call out to the deep in you. Mm. Mm -hmm. And may you call us into the depths of your life. Mm. Fear not! Amen. God is with us. Amen. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lord, that is our greatest desire. Mm -hmm. For you to be with us. Mm -hmm. To be for us. Lord, not for our own purposes and thoughts. Mm -hmm. But that you will have found in us people. Clean hands. Mm -hmm. Pure heart that you will have found in us a place where you can dwell, mm -hmm. where you can remain, mm -hmm. where we can confide and fellowship and live with you. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you are for us. Mm -hmm. If that is true. Mm. Mm. So Lord, what must we do so that this can be a reality mm. in us mm. and among us? Mm. Will you not show us mm. the measurements, mm. the requirements, Sadama. the standards yes. of your house? Yes, Lord. Its width, its height, its breadth, mm -hmm. its depth, and all of its pieces, all of its instruments, every vessel mm -hmm. in its place for its purpose. Hallelujah! Amen. Lord, in all parts of the house, even to the foundations of the walls that surround it, Mm -hmm. You said, even those will be made of precious stones. <laughs> Lord, you are very interested <laughs> in your house, <laughs> in your dwelling place. <laughs> Lord, the apostle said, do you not know <laughs> that your body <laughs> is the dwelling place <laughs> of God. Yes, it is. Why then <coughs> would you partner with wow. the world? Wow. The Why world. would you allow temporary, fading, Ooh, yeah. detestable things? Lord, Ooh, that, those things that can rot, mm. rust, mm. burn. <laughs> be stolen yes. Lord even in a spiritual manner Lord yes. fruitless thoughts mm. lifeless deeds <laughs> senseless perceptions <laughs> vain imaginations yeah. false ideas mm -hmm. will all burn away mm. they can be stolen by fear and confusion <laughs> <laughs> some, some will pray Hey, give us, uh, you know, whatever. God will bless your car, bless your job, bless your machine. I said, we don't have that. Maybe God is going to take away your machine, take away your car, take away whatever make you comfortable and bring you down to God. We pray for that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't like that, then turn away. <laughs> it's okay. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God... I mean, never give you a car still happy, man. <laughs> <laughs> you need that good prayer or not? <laughs> I think that's where we're blessed life. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs>
Glory to God! Glory to God! How foolish Christian has become! <laughs> Deceiving one another. Being deceived and continue to deceive others. But God cut it off. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 What have we had to do with the world? Amen. And if God wants to bless us, well, He can bless us anything He wants. <laughs> but that's not the joy. Amen. Hallelujah. That's not our attention. Amen. Hallelujah. We will be in the center of His will. Be a full established song. That's the right. Good. Lord, we want our portion to be you, mm -hmm. to come from you. Truly, we want to be in the center of your will, mm -hmm. <laughs> neither turning to the left nor to the right. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. We need your light, mm -hmm. your leading, your guidance. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Your unction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will you not well up in us mm -hmm. from below? Mm -hmm. God, will you not pour it out also from above? Yeah. That nothing will be lacking mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in us. Break, close your mind. Close your eyes, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, ready for the vision of the Lord. Amen. 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 Lord, in this way, truly let the heavens be opened. Mm -hmm. O oh Lord, that you would rend the heavens mm -hmm. and come down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let our young people rise up. Let, let them rise up, Lord. Mm. Let them try it out. Amen. Mm. Amen. Mm. Amen. 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 Anybody mm. have prayer or visions? Well, let have it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Mm. Yes. Mm. I saw like a like a it's a it was a rainstorm. Mm. But it was like a torrential downpour mm. um, of just soaking rain, mm. just pouring down, and almost in like waves. Mm. The rain was coming down in like waves. Wow. Mm. 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 Glory to God. Mm. Bless the Lord. Amen. Amen. The flood gate of heaven is open. Mm. Indeed. And the word of ministry, the word of God, it's like a dew from heaven. I mean, it's like water from above. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. definitely going to going to do what needs to be done. So, mm -hmm. sisters, hallelujah! You guys are super quiet, too quiet. <laughs> Pray for us. Praise the Lord for us. Bless the Lord, Father, that you would pour out on us, Lord, from heaven above. Lord, your goodness, your faithfulness is more than words can be said, God. The love that comes down from heaven is worthy to be praised. God, that our hearts would ever be in worship before you, Lord. Mm -hmm. That our arms would be lifted high, ready mm -hmm. to be drenched in you, God. Mm -hmm. To be flooded by your words of truth, your spirit of truth, to live in us. Mm -hmm. To work in us, God. Mm -hmm. Lord, we want to be your people. We want to be used by you, Father. Mm. Continue to make us new. Wow. Continue to purify us, Father God. Mm. And may we be strengthened by the life that you have put in us. That's right. May we not drown out 
because of our fear or listening to the lies of the enemy, God, but be made strong by your life and by your truth, Father. Mm -hmm. I do thank you for this word today, Lord. I thank you mm -hmm. for what you're doing in your people, that you are making us ready, mm -hmm. that you are, again, giving us an opportunity to trust you Mm. with all that we are. Mm. Lord, teach our spirit. May our spirit man be stronger than our soul, <laughs> ready to fight any battle and ready to be quiet before you or to hear from you and to see your ways, to know your ways and to know who you are. Thank you, Lord. Mm. I love you, Lord. I... Mm. I thank you for your life. Mm, you, Bless your holy name. Mm, Anybody else? While Rachel was praying, I was reminded of a vision I had uh -huh. that I, for, for whatever reason, didn't have the opportunity to share. Uh -huh. um, I saw a a rainbow in like a, a big beautiful rainbow you know over some green hills you know mm. like the most picturesque like best that you that you've ever seen you know just beautiful huge full over you know green mm. and then my perspective suddenly well th then there was a if, if this is the rainbow mm -hmm. then there was this huge beam that came down and cut through the middle of it and my perspective was changed, and it was a larger rainbow by magnitudes of degrees oh. that was then, that had overlapped the first rainbow. Oh, okay. And then there was a shift, and that, that rainbow was then, everything was shifted and then focused on this new, new rainbow, rainbow that was yeah. just, you know, over Magnus, mountain ranges. Mag you know? yeah. Yes, and okay. dwarfed the previous one. And oh, okay. when she said, the, you know, Mm. Continue to make us new or renew us or something yeah, of that yes, nature. Yes. I was reminded of that vision. Oh, bless the Lord. Um, yeah. And I saw one other thing today. Mm. Earlier, I saw a um, like a patchwork quilt or a, a tapestry that had been sewn together mm. from lots of different pieces. Mm -hmm. It was very colorful, but it was, you know, almost using um, just ordinary. Closing. Yeah, just n not, you know, nicely made, but, but patchwork. Mm -hmm. And then, for, and it was, and it was almost like it was hanging vertically or something on a wall. Okay. And then from the corner, I saw like a, like a golden light that kind of came down from the corner, and it transformed the patchwork oh, quilt into, uh, like a royal. Golden garment. Well, it was a purple garment. Purple garment. But it was like oh, the royal. best, some material that was, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, the best. Yeah, but the yeah. whole thing was just transformed oh, wow. again into a different material. <laughs> um, Bless the Lord. But the, the, the word I heard was <coughs> yeah. royalty. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm. So. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. You know Joshua's story, am I? Story mm. with Joseph, am I? Right? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what's taking place in the spirit for the Sun Company, I believe. Mm -hmm. And we are part of it, for sure, so, mm -hmm. amen. Kim? Anything? Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Disappointing now. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? I have something. Oh, there you go. I saw that Nicole must be on because the Lord told me Nicole had a wish and so I know I'm sure you're there or whatever. Mm -hmm. so, I don't even know what's there. So. Glory to God. Sister, hold out your right hand. I will bless you. Mm. Hallelujah. Lord, Lord, Lord. Mm. She wanted peace. Mm. Oh Lord, may you be the God of peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. May the peace of God be with you. Now, in the name of Jesus, I bless you. Mm. Mm. You know, the Bible have this high priestly prayer. I'm going to read it for you, sister. Amen. I'll read it with you. Just close your eyes. And I bless you. The reality can come to you. Amen. I say the reality will come to you. Amen. Few occasions I do this, but today I'll do it for you. 
the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face towards you and give you peace. Hallelujah. In the end, He said, So you will have God's name on yourself and will be blessed by God. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Make Nicole a peace to wherever she is. Thank you, Father. A source, a fountain of peace and joy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You are the peace in the storm. Amen. You are the peace in the thunder, in the rumbling. You, you always have peace, Lord, in your mind and your wonderful heart. You can be still and you can be violent, moving, Lord. But it's still your peace. Thank you, Lord. Nothing changes you. May you secure this sister of ours, the son of yours, the daughter of yours, Lord, in your peace, in the name of Jesus. Please go ahead. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Mm. I, I have to confess that I have, in a way, denied that sacrifice that we're called to. Mm. I think we're all, as we read in this word, there's a sacrifice that is um, asked. Of, and I have just been like, Lord, won't. almost like it was so selfish that I was saying, I won't. I won't do it. I won't sacrifice, Lord. I can't. It's too hard. Um, and so getting on this morning was very difficult. But I have to say that his power is far beyond any human <laughs> any human nature <laughs> in any way and immediately his power overwhelmed me being here in his truth which it always does but <sighs> it burned away my flesh and it burned away just the selfishness for the moment um, that would try to cloud my mind from <laughs> from his truth so praise the Lord for that <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed with emotion right now. This vision was really touching to me. Um, the first thing that I saw was a cavern underground, and it was full of fog. And I don't know if you guys know, like the cavern, like those long rock-like formations that kind of stick up out of the ground and it come down. Um, from the roof of a cavern. Stalactite and stalagmites. Mm -hmm. What was that? The stalagmite comes up from the bottom and the stalactite comes down from the top. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like that. And it was full of fog. And then I I'd like to just describe it the way I saw it because the perspective changes in it. But first I saw that. And then... Um, I saw a different perspective where this cavern opened up and it was now sort of like a little mini lake in the middle of this cavern. And I'm looking down and I'm seeing like these boats and they remind me of a ride at a um, amusement park where there's like four or five rows in the boat and people are all sitting in the boat and these boats are coming in one by one and um, they're going off to the left and then all of a sudden I'm like you know what's I, I'm trying to think to myself like what's going on here and I could see also that like they'd, they'd go off to the left and then one would go off to the right and um, then I and I and I was just wondering like, you know what is this and all of a sudden my perspective changed and oh excuse me where they originally came from, this foggy place, you could see where that was coming from. And you can see like the fog sort of lift away. Um, and then it would come into this room where the little lake was in the cavern. 
And um, then my perspective changed and I was sitting in the boat, one of these boats coming out of this tunnel of fog into this cavern. And I looked ahead expecting to see the Lord like sitting on a throne, like directing these boats. But I look forward and there's this light and it was not the Lord. It was this woman. And I was like, Lord, what is going on? And it was this woman and she stood up and it was almost like she was sitting on a throne and she stood up. She was glowing and she pointed to the left as if to tell the boats you're going to the left. And I, excuse me, I got emotional at this point in my vision and I'm like, I stood up in this boat and I said, no, no to this woman. No, I'm not going there. And the boat stopped and it wouldn't go to the left and it wouldn't go to the right and it wouldn't move. And I could almost see the steering wheel, of this boat just teetering back and forth and it wouldn't go and it was stuck and it wouldn't move. So I was like, Lord, can I get out? Can I jump out of here? Will you let me get out? And he let me jump out of this boat. And I swam to the shore on the right side and I sat up on this side and I was just calling to these people in the boat and I'm like, get out, get out, come with me, get out. And a lot of them got out and one didn't and he kind of climbed forward, you know, like if a car empties out, somebody might climb forward to the front row of the seat and the person climbed up to the front row of the seat and then the boat went off to the left. So me and these people are sitting on the side and I, you know, I'm like, Lord, are we waiting for a boat, you know, and a boat comes and we get in and all of a sudden we go down, we go to the left, the right and we go down this tunnel, a long tunnel and this tunnel ends at this beautiful land and I'm almost like overcome with beauty and I start to get emotional again. It's just so beautiful and I'm so thankful to be there. And so I step off this boat, we all step off this boat, and these like angelic figures are, are above us, um, maybe they're angels, they have wings, and they're holding this oil, and they're pouring it out, and so we walk through this oil, and we're just all in white, and we're just, um, you know, we walk through this oil, and we're all white, and we start to head up this hill, and then I see, I think it's me, maybe it wasn't, I just felt like I was in this person's body, so I was me, but I see her then, I see her go into this tent at the top of the hill, and as soon as she goes in, it's all red in there, and I was like, something's like glowing red in here, and I see in the center of the room that there's this heart, and then, and then I, um, I felt like it was like the heart of the Lord, and I, and I, and I can't remember Thank you. Um, at this point, after I felt like it was the heart of the Lord, I, I stopped and I listened to him, and that was when Tim was praying. And he said something like, give us the heart of the Lord. And I just started bawling again because it was just so the Lord. And I was like, how do I, how do I get this? How do I take this, you know? And I felt like she had to reach inside and take out her own heart and mm -hmm. crush it in her hands and let it become dust and then take a part of this heart that was there and put it in her. Mm -hmm. And then she exited from the other side of the tent back out into this land and started to go back down the hill. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Back up to what? A lamp? Oh, yeah. Land. Land. Like, yeah, it was like a land. It was a mountain. It was beautiful. It was really deep, deep green. Oh. Um, yeah, trees. It was really beautiful. Mm. A lush mountain. Uh, yeah. Ala da bala da sanda na ya. Iti thala na mana ya. What do you think about the woman? I really wanted her to be me. I really wanted no, no, to so stand. The first woman you tell you to to go somewhere, you struggle with. Oh, yeah, she was. I don't know. I don't know if she was. <laughs> I don't know who she was. 
but she was very big. She was like a giant. She sat, because in this cavern, it was just cavern, and it was just this water. And, and she sat in, in a spiritual seat, fully shiny, huge. She was a giant. She was tall. She had an almost looked like armor on. She was blonde. Um, mm. Yeah, that's what she looked like to me anyway. Any version of oh, It's very similar to the woman in my dream. Is that right? So it's a bad figure then. Mm. Yeah. Might be the spirit of Babylon, I believe. So. Mm. Mm. Well, that's where it's all ring. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Same time, we're encouraging. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think on the ground, eternal fall, everything is speaking about the spiritual condition of the church, you know, and most of the people. Well, this is. They don't realize they're Yeah, really they're not that. actually they're under, so yeah, and so they're not free. Ascending the hill after the different journey, so. Mm -hmm. So they channel through this underground thing mm -hmm. to get in the weird city, so in the. It's under the earth. Under the earth, you know. Exactly. Sheol. Water, yeah. And otherwise, it's like a, it's the place of judgment. Yeah. It's a. It's a heat. The woman sitting under the water, am I so speaking mm -hmm. about the Bible so. Hey, hey, hallelujah, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so it's, uh, it's encouraging. We are happy for you to be with us. May God's Spirit continue to be with you. His power be with you. His peace be with you. Amen. Why don't you pray for us? We wrap it up today. So. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Did somebody ask me to do something? I somebody yeah. was calling in, and I. I, I I am asking to wrap it up for us in prayer. So. Mm -hmm. oh, Father, we give our lives to you. We give our all to you, Lord Jesus, and we ask that you begin to pull this world out of us, Lord. Lord, I ask that we would be um, in obedience and we'd fall upon you in humility, and we would just say, Lord, clean us, take from us all that does not belong to you in, in its place lord we ask that you put your heart and your will and father we thank you so much god for your truth that is said here for your power that is here that you bring your power in this room that you bring your power to us is a blessing beyond understanding i cannot believe that we have sit here in your presence and in your power thank you lord i pray a continual um covering of your power and of your of your will over our lives lord um, and a continual teaching of us on how to get rid of self and human nature and um, listening ears of lies, Lord. I pray that you teach us continually how to rid ourselves of that and that we may say yes, Lord, and be obedient to that teaching. In Jesus' name. Thank you, sister. Bring our best to Justin and everybody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. We'll see you next. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory, Glory to God. Glory to you all. Mm. Yes.